we're now going to work on loading in models and we're going to do this within our base controller we'll create a method in here that allows us to load in a model and then actually in our controller we can do something with it update something output something whatever let's create an example model first though we've got none at the moment let's create a uh, one called user and this is basically just for demonstration purposes going to contain a name a public name so this can be set to once we've instantiated our user model so let's save this as user.php remember the capital u um, as it's a class name user and we'll ignore that now so within our home controller we want to create a new instance of this user we want to set a name and then we want to output that name so it's not very useful but we are technically updating our model so what we need to do in here is we need to have some way of loading in a model efficiently so we don't have to require this in ourselves so within our controller we create a new method to do this so we have a public function called model and this is basically going to load a model in by name so I'll just write model in here so let's echo out model for now just to basically explain how this works so within our home controller remember we're extending our controller here and that's because um, we want to make use of the functionality that's in here this could be protected to be honest uh, we'll leave it as public for now but this basically will echo out model so in here I'm going to say this model user now what this is going to do is because we're referring to this we're referring to the parent class as well so that then echoes out user not useful at the moment but all we really need to do here is require in this model so we say app models x.php and x is obviously going to be the name of the model that we want to require in in this case it's model so once that's required in and bear in mind we're not doing a file check here to check if this exists it doesn't really matter too much at the moment um, you can include a file check if you want so we're going to return a new model so this is the model name that we passed in and we're going to re return that as an object so now this is the user model so we can do things like user name equals Alex echo user name there we are so there we are we've got Alex despite the fact that we're not we're not making use of the parameters at the moment what we could obviously do is say name echo name and we could then include a parameter here so that's interacting with our model so we've now successfully called a model required it in returned it to our controller and we can make use of it inside of here.